Hey everyone, welcome back to Explore Electronics. In this video, I am covering chapter 1 of Introduction to AI and Application subject. This is a subject of VTU first year and in the first chapter, we will be studying Introduction to Artificial Intelligence. In this video, I am covering Artificial Intelligence, what it is, how does AI work, advantages and disadvantages of AI. What is Artificial Intelligence? In 2004, John McCarthy defined Artificial Intelligence as the science and engineering of making intelligent machines, especially intelligent computer programs. This is the definition he has given in 2004. If we go back to 1950s, where the roots of AI started, notably the work of Alan Turing. Alan Turing is the person who given a seminar with the paper titled Computing Machinery and Intelligence in 1950. In that paper, he posted a question, can machines think? From there onwards, machine thinking and machine learning concepts started to evolve. So Turing is widely known as father of computer science. He proposed a concept of Turing test. He conducted the test called Turing test. In this test, there is a human interrogator. He will interact with both machine as well as a person. Here the goal is to determine whether the responses coming from the human or machine. He poses a questions in terms of text to a machine as well as human. If the interrogator is able to get back the result and he has able to identify whether it is coming from a human or machine correctly, then he will decide that machine is performing better or human is performing better. If the interrogator cannot relay them apart, means clearly if he couldn't understand who is responding, then machine is considered to be executing the intelligent behavior similarly as human. That is what the test he conducted. And if you understand AI as a layman's point of view or what is AI in a general people view, it is simply means of intelligence demonstrated by machines that help them to mimic some actions of humans. That is what general people think. But if you think as a researcher in AI, AI will be a set of algorithms that generates results without having explicitly instructed to do so. Means even if we don't tell to AI that you should do like this, AI should understand by making the uh, means in such a way that we need to make machines to capable of thinking and acting rationally and humanly. That is what the researcher point of view, he has to define AI in set of algorithms, not like layman's point of view thinking like just mimicking the actions of humans. So there are some languages popularly used for AI that is R, Python and Java and AI simulates the natural intelligence in machines that are programmed by learning the experiences and adjusted to the new inputs and performing like human tasks. This is what the introduction to AI is all about. And if you look at some examples of AI, chess playing computers, let's say one end of the chess game will be done by the human, other end will be played by the computer and there is a concept of self-driving cars. So these are the things are examples of AI where they will be using deep learning concepts natural language processing concepts inside and AI applications perform specialized tasks by processing the data that is large amount of data they will process and understand and they will be recognizing the patterns in the data that is how they will be performing and AI systems are also capable of doing learning from the experience as soon as we give the new new data it will learn and understand things that is how learning from experience happens and also recognizing the objects processing by processing the large data through recognizing patterns then understanding and responding to the language then making decisions to solve real world problems these are the things which we say ai systems are capable of doing and ai perform tasks that typically require human intelligence then what is the main goal of ai then to build machines and algorithms that can perform computational tasks so these tasks would be otherwise require a human intelligence or human-like brain functions. So the main goal of AI technology is to build the machines and algorithms that can perform computational tasks. The task would be otherwise require some human intelligence, like human-like brain functions, right? In the similar manner, machines and algorithms need to be built and they will perform those tasks. So there are some areas where computers are performing better than humans. Sorting, computing, memorizing, indexing, pattern recognition, these are the areas where computers are outperforming humans. Sorting will be very much easy for computer. It will segregate easily. 
computing computation mathematical things and memorizing the things humans will forget things very soon that's why computers can store it in a memory and it can recall whenever it is required indexing the things and pattern recognition are the areas where computers are performing better but they are fall short in identifying the emotions computers are ai fall short fall behind in understanding the human emotions and recognizing faces and communication with human as the two person communicates these are the drawbacks our ai has to improve on and this gap highlights the crucial role of ai in enabling the machines to achieve human like capabilities then niti aayog that is from the government of india they released a national strategy for ai which defines ai as the ability of machines to perform cognitive tasks they are like thinking perceiving learning problem solving and decision making these are the tasks they defined uh, so ai has to adopt thinking perceiving learning problem solving and decision making ai was initially conceived as a technology where just mimicking the human intelligence over the time evolved ai has evolved far beyond its original conception this is the initial conception everyone has then the major advancements have occurred in data collection data processing and computational power that's why wherever the data collection and uh, decision making is required ai is already adapted in that due to these achievements intelligent systems can now take over variety of tasks enable connectivity enhancing productivity as well so you can take an example of uh, uber and other platforms they will be using the data clearly and giving the best results how does ai work ai systems require large amount of data first so that data should be a labeled data we call it as labeled training data to work more eff- effectively so this data is thoroughly analyzed to discover the correlations and patterns and these patterns are used to make predictions about the future outcomes so all about the data and we need to label it properly and example let's take a chatbot trained on the text conversations can learn interact with humans in real world scenarios so there are core cognitive skills in ai programming there are three main cognitive skills one is learning another one is reasoning and the next one is self correction so what is learning process then ai acquires the data and creates rules to turn the data into actionable information this is what the learning process is so it it acquires the data and creates rules to turn that data into some actionable information these rules are called algorithms which are the step by step instructions to perform some specific task then reasoning process in the reasoning process ai must select the most suitable algorithm out of the algorithms we have so then only uh, to get the desired result the success of ai depends on making the correct logical decision by choosing the most suitable algorithm that is what reasoning process happens then self correction process in the self correction process ai systems are designed to continuously improve their algorithms ensure they provide most accurate results over time as they learn 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 these are the three uh, skills ai should have or ai programming should adapt then there is a case study here why artificial intelligence is so important ai in business applications in a business applications ai will give or gain deep insights into their operations that were previously unknown and ai powered machines can perform many tasks better than humans we already seen pattern recognition prediction data analysis so all these are done by ai better than humans so this superior performance has become driving force for exploring the new business opportunities and also creating the innovative solutions then real world example if you take uber uber is using ai enabled uh, computer software that could connect the riders and taxis effectively Uber uses advanced machine learning algorithms to predict the demand for rides and different areas so it will deploy the drivers proactively even before the actual need arises in that area this is the case study and also if you observe power of ai with machine learning and deep learning ai when combined with ml and dl it is evolving very rapidly the combination of ai allows the allows to process the massive amount of data in much faster than humans make highly accurate predictions beyond human capability as a huge volume of data generated daily only ai applications can effectively turn, turn this data into actionable insights example 
गूगल गूगल इज वन ऑफ द लार्जेस्ट ए आई प्लेयर्स इन द वर्ल्ड इट यूज मशीन लर्निंग्स टू अंडरस्टैंड द यूजर बिहेवियर ऑन दिस प्लेटफॉर्म्स दैट इज वाई वाई यू आर स्क्रोलिंग इन द सोशल मीडिया वाट एवर द थिंग्स यू आर गोइन टू शो इंटरेस्ट एंड वॉच लॉन्गर दोज आर द थिंग्स द विल कम नेक्स्ट इन यूर सर्च रिजल्ट कंटिन्यूसली इंप्रूव इट्स ऑनलाइन सर्विसेस बेस्ड ऑन द अंडरस्टैंडिंग इन टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन गूगल सी वो सुंदर पिचाय सेट दट गूगल वुड ऑपरेट एज ए ए फर्स्ट कंपनी सो वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड आर द कंक्लूजन इज टूडे एवरी बिग एंटरप्राइज हैज यूज ए आई टू इंप्रूव द ऑपरेशन एंड गेन एडवांटेज ऑन देयर कॉम्पिटेटर्स सो दिस इज अबाउट द केस स्टडी एंड विद दिस वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड वट आर ऑल द एडवांटेजेस एंड डिसएडवांटेजेस ऑफ ए आई ए आई विल परफॉर्म वेल ऑन टास्क दट यूज डिटेल डेटा सो टेक लेस टाइम टू परफॉर्म टास्क दट नीड टू प्रोसेस यूज वॉल्यूम ऑफ डेटा and it generates consistent and accurate results it can be used throughout the day 24 bar 7 optimizes tasks by better utilizing the resources and it automates complex process minimizes the downtime by predicting the maintenance needs and and ai enable companies to produce new products uh, having better quality and speed these are the advantages what are the disadvantages we have it involves more cost it requires more intelligence in building the ai uh, modules and technical expertise is required to develop and use ai applications and lack of trained professionals we have incomplete or inaccurate data may result in disaster results and lack of capability to generate uh, generalized tasks these are the advantages and disadvantages of ai so in the next video let's understand history of ai uh, starting from 1950s to 2025 what are all the advancements happened thank you